Hi, Abby. Hiya. Hi there. Uh, so what's your phobia? Um, anything with wings or a beak. Uh, pigeons, chickens, seagulls, anything like that. OK. You... How badly does it affect you? Um, just, like, can't go and feed the ducks with the kids when they're younger. Can't, um, you know, like, just walk around my local... Uh, you know, shopping area, walking up the high street, there's pigeons everywhere and I'm just petrified, hiding behind the kids, hiding oh. behind my partner, and they get really annoyed. <laughs> okay. It's, it's okay. actually surprisingly incredibly oh, common. Have you, um, have you any idea how it started? Well, I remember when I was um, a child, mm -hmm. um, my brother put, a, like, a, I was sat watching TV, my brother put a canary by my shoulder and it sort of flapped and went you know, how birds do, and I was absolutely petrified of that, but, I mean, I'm assuming it's that, but we had barn owls when I was a child as well, and I wasn't scared of them, so I'm not sure. So would, it, would I be right in saying that the barn owl you had um, prior to that incident, and then the canary yeah. incident, and, and it made you jump? Um, yeah. So, OK, so that would be what we class as the, the installation point. So in that moment, you actually... So if you think about that memory now for me, um, and, and when you think about it, do you, does that feel uncomfortable? Yeah. And if you were to scale that on a zero to ten, ten being incredibly uncomfortable and zero, I feel nothing, where would you scale that? Probably ten. OK. So I can't stand the flapping of the birds. I can't stand it. OK. So, so ultimately what's happened is, like you said, you, you had barn owls and you're perfectly fine with them. Um, and obviously phobias are learned. So what's actually happened is that you were perfectly fine with birds and then you've had an incident that, that, you, that you became fearful of, and then, which was mm. your installation point um, with the canary. And then from there, your phobia has grown. And as they so often do, then goes to all different... And my mum and my grand are scared of them as well. OK. So that actually magnifies it because it actually yeah. gives you evidence as to well, it's not just me, and if, if they've got it too, yeah. then that's OK. So, but what we do know, and like you said, is that you were OK with the barn owls initially. Mm. So we know that, obviously, nobody's, you're not born with a phobia, so we know that. And we also know that you were perfectly happy with them until this incident occurred. And then, so what we need to ask you in that moment, as your brother put the um, canary on your shoulder, um, what I'd like you to ask yourself is who or what actually created the fear at that moment? Well, my brother doing it. Correct. Okay. That's right, because you're, yeah. you're, you're sat there watching the TV and, and presumably came up, he didn't tell you he was going to do that, and, and no. he put the bird on your shoulder, and the bird was flapping because obviously it was frightened. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So, so in that moment, although you jumped, how do you think the bird felt about it? It's scared, yeah. OK. And so who actually created the fear? My brother. <laughs> okay, so your brother, your brother created the fear in you and potentially the bird as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you've been blaming birds when the bird did actually. What, what did the bird actually do? Uh, nothing. Okay. Okay, sorry. What did you say? Uh, nothing. <laughs> okay, did she say nothing there? I think yeah, she I did. Think she did yeah, so, yeah. so who actually should you be fearful of? <laughs> In the situation, <laughs> but but in actual giving your brother a break, he was probably doing a bit of a prank. So you know, don't right. be frightened of your brother. But what I'd like you to do <laughs> is just look back at that memory now and, and tell us how that feels. Does that feel I don't different? Know. Just yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Well, you said it was a ten before. See, because what you were doing is you were looking at it from the perspective of the child that created it, whereas now what we've helped you to do is look at it from an adult's perspective and to see it for what it, what it was and not how it felt at the moment. And you now realise that actually the bird was completely innocent and you've been blaming the poor bird for having done absolutely nothing. So when you look back at that now, you should notice that it actually feels a lot lighter. It, it does, you know. Good. It, Can I, I ask just, you? I was shaking before and now I've just... Down. Brilliant. Brilliant. And can I ask you, how long ago was that incident? Oh, I must have been about ten. OK. So move it, moving forward, literally, all you need to do when you see a bird is just say, oh, look, do you know what, I'm really sorry for blaming you. Um, and it was my brother's fault. And, and make, make light of it. You'll notice that that feels tons better. I can tell the difference in your voice yeah, already. Totally. Yeah, totally. It's like a miracle. Well, well done. done. Well yeah. done, well done. Go and walk well around your town and feel free. <laughs>